All right, so as I said, we're doing problem solving. In bracket, I have sequence, series, and pattern. We start off by saying that a sequence is a set of terms in a well-defined order. Um, these are examples. The following are examples of sequences. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That is the sequence of what consecutive um, even numbers. Then we have what? 3, 6, um, 12, 24, 48. And the pattern here or the order here is that the, the amount of numbers or the number that you add is always what is being doubled. Then we have what? 5, 10, um, 15, 20, 25. Those are what multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. The sequence there is that those are multiples of 5. Then we have um, the term a series. This says a series is the sum of the terms in a sequence. So if you add the terms in a sequence, what you have is a series. So the following are examples of series. Um, here it is. A series can be written um, as a list or using sigma notation. Well, we're not really going to do sigma notation. But the point I wanted to get to was this one. To write a series in sigma, sigma notation, we need to first to find the general term of the series. So what I wanted to get to is the idea of the general term of the series. All right. Now, the general term is basically one term which from, from which you can derive the entire sequence. The general term of a sequence is one term from which you can derive all terms of the sequence. Now, to find the general term of the, of the series, we look for a pattern relating the subscript of the term with the value of the term, um, with the value of the term of the series. And that is something that I'll show you how to do. Here's a note, and this is very important. It says, um, when the terms in a sequence increase by a constant difference, the general term of the sequence is of the form TR is equal to AR plus C. That is something I'll show you in action, but I'll just say it again. When the terms in a sequence increase by a constant difference, the general term of the sequence is of the form TR is equal to AR plus C, where A is the constant difference, R is the term number, and C is a constant. And as I said, I will show you that in action. Now, example one says, find the general term in each of the following sequences. Find the general term in each of the following sequences. All right, so looking at example one, the general term, guys, TR is actually two two moving pen problems. 2R minus one. Um, the general term here is actually 2R. So when R is one, two times one is two. When R is two, two times two is four. When R is three, two times three is six. When R is four, two times four is eight. When R is five, two times five is 10. When R is six, two times six is 12. The general term here, TR, this looks to me like the square of the counting numbers. So this is R square. When R is one, one square is one, two square is four, three square is nine, four square is 16, five square is 25, six square is 36. The general term here is that R the state the um, pattern of your sequence is that this is the what the square of the 
counting numbers. All right, T, um, R here. This guys is actually the cube of the counting numbers. One cube is one. One cube is one times one times one, which is one. Two cube is eight. Three cube is 27. Four cube is 64. Five cube is 125. Um, TR here. This is the square of the odd numbers. So it's two R minus one square. That's a general term. When R is one, you get what? Two times one is two, minus one is one. One square is one. When R is two, two times two is four, minus one is three, three square is nine. Now, um, F now, for F, um, can you see that the constant difference is four? Let me know. All right, I think with F, TR, General term TR the general term um, at F TR I think it's actually four R minus one. Four ones are four. Four minus one gives you three, right? Let me know. But if you wanted to, you could have found this by calculation. You could say the general term TR is equal to AR is equal to AR plus C. So that is the general format of the general term of the A what sequence with a constant difference which means to get from one number to the next number, you're adding a constant number, which in this case is four. A is that constant, dif constant difference. So TR would be equal to four R plus C. To find out what C is, I'm gonna use any term. I could use the first, second, the third term, it doesn't matter, T3. The third term is in F is 11. So this is the equal to four times three because R is the term number plus C and this is equal to 11. So C would be equal to 11 minus 12. Four trees are 12, positive 12 on the left goes over to the right and become negative. So C is what? Minus one, therefore at F, the general term TR is equal to 4R plus C, which is minus one. So it's 4R minus one. This is exactly what I told you. Guys, the general term here, um, you'll notice that at G, um, the constant difference is three. Can you see it? To get from one term to the next term, you add in three. So this is three R, so three, one, three, um, I would say plus four. Three, one, three, plus four, you get what? Seven. Three, two, six, plus four, you get what? 10. Three, three is nine, plus four, you get what? 13. The general term is, um, is three R plus um, four. Guys, I want you to have a quick look at example two. I'm giving you five minutes to attempt it. I want you to have a quick look at example two. I'm giving you five minutes to attempt it. At the end of the five minutes, I will do the question. We're doing um, example two. The first thing example two is that um, we're asked to find the, the general term of the sequence. I know the general term TR, is equal to seven R, seven because it's going up by seven. But the first number is what two? The first term in the sequence is two. 
So seven times one is seven. How do I go from seven to two? I mean, I have to take away five. Did anybody get that for the general term? The general term is seven R minus five. Because seven times one is seven. And when you take away five, you get two. Now, if I want to find out what is the 23rd term, sorry, 23rd, all I have to do is over to the right, wherever I see um, R, I replace it with 23. So it's seven times 23 minus five. Seven times 23, that is what, um, 161? Help me now. 161 minus five, that would be um, 154, 156. Yes, 156, thank you. So the 23rd term is 156. Anybody get them all of them so far? Talk to me now. All right, good. Which term in the sequence is um, 128? I don't know. So the X term, that would be seven times X minus five is equal to 128. The X term, I don't know what X is, but I know that it is a term in the sequence. So since I don't know the term number, I say that it is what? It is the X term. So 7x would be equal to 128 minus 5, which is 123. Then I'll divide both sides by 7. And when I do, I'm going to get x is equal to 7 into the schools one time and remainder. Am I correct? Thank you. Which which bad person said that? Okay. All right. So this should be one thirty three. I knew something was wrong. Divide now by seven. Um, you get what one? It's nineteen. So which term in the sequence is one twenty eight? The nineteenth term is one twenty eight. Did you get that? Got it, Jordan? Very good. Show that um, 105 is not a term in the sequence. Can I show you how to do that? Let 105 be the nth term. Let 105 be the nth term. Please note, n must come out to be a whole number. For 105 to be a term in the sequence, n must be a whole number. You can have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. n is the term number, and it must be a counting number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If it come out to be anything other than a counting number, it means that this this number is not a term in the sequence. I hear me. If I want the first term, I'm gonna let R be equal to one. If I want the fifth term, I'm gonna let R is equal to five. I cannot have the fifth, the, the fifth point, point five term. The term number must come out to be a whole number. So here I'm saying, let the term number be N. It means therefore that Tn, which is um, 7n, minus five is equal to one o five. Seven n is equal to 110. Negative five goes over and become positive. Then I'm gonna divide both sides by seven. When I do, I'm gonna get N is equal to 
Seven into this goes one and remainder four. Seven into 40 goes five times and remainder what? Five over seven. Is it because it's not a whole number? 105 cannot be a terminal sequence. Because N is not a whole number. N is the what? The term number. And the term number must be a counting number. If you calculate a term number and it is not a whole number, it is because that number is not a term in the sequence. So now I could probably make a statement that 105 is not a term in the sequence. Term in sequence. And the basic reason is that the term number did not come out to be a whole number. <laughs> 